My methodology for testing the oxygen absorbers will tell me how much oxygen an absorber can absorb. I don't think most people care about that. I think most people actually want to know, will it take all the oxygen out of this bag and keep it safe long term? This quart bag will never have 300 cc's of oxygen in it at first. So even if you didn't put any food in here and you blew it up like a balloon, a one liter bag, which would be slightly bigger than the quart bag, is only going to have about 210 cc's of oxygen. I came up with a different thought because of that. Those comments from the viewer made me start rethinking my whole process for testing the oxygen absorbers. So I'm going to try this jar. So I think any container that will be airtight would work. This container can hold 1,025 cubic centimeters of air. Doing the math, that's approximately 215 cc's of oxygen. Let's test it this way. This might be a simpler way for most people. You could have a pint jar, a quart jar, a two quart jar. Just eat a bunch of pickles and you've got the jars necessary. So here's my plan with this test setup. And I'm going to put this here because then it'd be a lot easier to read. So this jar can hold 1,025 cc's of air. Multiply that by 0.21 for the oxygen and we get 215 cc's of oxygen. So now I'm going to just simply put both of those sensors in there and we'll be able to see them right through there. I'm going to take one out, put it in here, and then I'll reseal the bag. So there's the sensor. I'll try to hold that still so we can see it. And now it's turned already. Okay, we'll get that in there, get this resealed, and we'll get this put on there nice and snug. So it'll be real easy to see if those turn back to the salmon color. And that will tell us whether or not all the oxygen has been absorbed out of this container. Now this is only 215 cc's, but as I said, that's more than will ever fit in this bag is this is slightly bigger than this bag as far as if this is puffed up like a balloon and there's no food taking up any space it still is not quite as much volume as this jar we'll come back and check it later right this is looking through the jar and you can see that oxygen sensor is well both of them are starting to turn back to pink you can see the oxygen sensors in there. They've turned back to the pink or salmon color, uh, showing that all the oxygen has been absorbed from this. Since we know that it's done 215 so far, we could open this jar, let air in, and do it again to see if it'll take out another 215. That would be 430. That's well over what it's rated, and that could be worth doing. We'll open it, refill this with regular air so we'll have that much oxygen again so just trying to push any of the air back out you can see those immediately went back to blue we'll put them back in there seal it back up and come and revisit this in a few more days again it could take a week or so to get all that back out of there again so we'll come back and check it later it's done it twice. That's more than 430 cc's of oxygen. Now it's done more than twice what you could ever have in a quart bag. We know that these 300 cc's will easily take care of a quart bag or even a two quart bag. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to open it up and we'll watch the oxygen sensors. It seems to take longer the subsequent times. The first time it goes very, very quickly. Uh, let's get them out real quick. And it's slowly, relatively slowly, turning back to blue. And we'll put this back in. And we'll close it back up and we'll see if it goes back to the pink again, which would be a total of 645 cc's of oxygen. And that would be more than double what it's rated. So that would be a surprise if it goes that much. We'll watch it. So this is the other test that I was talking about using a two liter bottle 
which is about 420 cc's of oxygen because of course 2 liters would be 2000 cc times by 21, 21% uh, be about 420 cc's of oxygen. We're going to put one of the oxygen absorbers in and a couple of spare sensors. I'm going to leave the label on for now because that way we can still return it for deposit. So let's start with the oxygen absorber and we'll get one out. The sensor is turning, there it goes. Kind of fold that and just stick that right in. Oh. So I'm going to tape it, then I should be able to shake it back down, because I'll want to be able to take it out later. Yeah, okay, I'll be able to get it back out. Now we'll get a sensor in there, we'll grab a couple of these, and they do tend to change slower after they've been used before. We'll put those in there, and we'll seal it up. So this kind of bottle should be plenty airtight for the job. Now we can see through it and we'll watch it. I'll put the time on there and the date on there. We'll know when it was started. So we'll come back and visit that in a couple of days. The bottle should slowly get sucked in. Eventually the oxygen should all be absorbed. Even though this is a 300 cc, I'm testing it at 420, so considerably more than what it's rated for and I'm betting it'll work. It'll be enough. All of this brand have been well over what they've stated every time we've tried them. Well, we'll be back and check these later. Now they're back to the salmon color. And the ones that I took out, I put into the two liter bottle on the sixth. And of course it squishes that bottle right down and in the two liter, there's going to be a little bit more than 420 cc's of oxygen. And so this 300 cc oxygen absorber took care of all 420 or a little bit more of the oxygen out of this two liter bottle. And of course, that's the goal. So this is probably the simplest way to test. So now I've tested a 300 cc oxygen absorber and shown that it will do more than 420. What more do I need to know? Um, I'm not going to use it for anything that's going to require a 500. I'm going to use it for 300 or less. And so I know that it's going to be effective for more than 300. So let's end that test and move on to other ways.